Crystal Lolisa. Thanks for dropping by. Be sure to subscribe for more great content. Today we're talking about my foundation collection. Now, I thought this would be a really interesting way to like curate my entire collection and basically give you an overview of all the foundations that I have, all the ones that I've been using regularly, what I think about them, instead of doing like a million individual foundation reviews. And I actually was curious to know how many foundations I actually own because in my mind I had the number at around 30. But by counting them right now, I literally have 47 foundations which seems a bit obscene but i've kind of been afraid to confront the collection because at this point i am literally not allowed to buy any new foundations until i use all of these up because i don't want anything to just like expire in a drawer or something because that would be such such a huge waste i've arranged them based on my least expensive ones right here to my most expensive ones right at the top and then on top of those i will put out the ones that i use most frequently just so you can see which ones are my favorite why i like them specifically for like different events and different functions and situations so yeah let's get started so this 47 foundation video is not too long like that is so crazy to me and mind you I'm counting foundations like these as just two although these are actually five each so technically I have 55 foundations but we're just gonna count them as one each because those are like professional grade foundations that I bought because I thought they'd come in so handy to use on my like, clients and whatever and also that's why I have four of the Revlon Colorstay because I absolutely love 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 this formula although recently the more I've been wearing it the more I'm noticing that it is transferring a bit more on my skin so maybe my skin has just gotten used to it and it's not quite as effective as it used to be and what I've tried to do is to arrange them by brand so we can just speak about one company and be done with that so actually let's start with the Bio Bio I have this CC cream I don't know if my camera is focusing so I do have this Bio Bio cream and I do have a video I don't know if I have a dedicated video on this or not but I think I did want to shoot one just to see how well it lasts on my face without focusing on like a million other products in the video so let me know if you'd be interested in seeing that but i'm not a cc cream type of person so this just doesn't have enough coverage for me to be using like on the daily and we all know how i feel about primer so i have seen a few people use this under foundation but i feel like it's a pretty expensive primer if I'm not going to be using it for coverage, like to buy this as a primer for like 2500 or something and then to end up buying another foundation to use on top of it kind of seems like a waste but if you want to use as little product on your face as possible, this does have a little bit of a tint to it so it kind of does begin the evening process of your face but then you go into the foundation and you use a little bit of foundation and you take it the rest of the way basically. So the next foundations are my black opal foundations and I actually really do love this line. I do have an extensive collection from this line. These are sold at Linton, so definitely pick up your black opal from them. But um, I do have this. It does get quite greasy on my very dry skin, so it's not my favorite foundation. That's why you see only a little bit of it has been used, but it has amazing, amazing coverage. So if you're looking for a super affordable full coverage foundation and then you don't mind setting it with powder like crazy, then this is a really good one for you. This I just found too greasy for me. This is the Mineral Matte Cream Powder Foundation. It is a cream foundation, great coverage, but it doesn't quite dry down for me even after I've set it with powder so it transfers like crazy not the biggest fan of this one I absolutely love 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 their powder foundations this one is a little too light for me so I do use it on a couple of clients when I occasionally take them and um, this one I do use all over my face I absolutely adore this foundation but I hate that when you put it on and you touch your face it kind of looks different in that spot from the rest of your skin so that's the only downside but for a powder foundation this is super quick super easy you still have that radiant glow you don't look dry it doesn't look like the life is being sucked out of your skin so i absolutely love 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 these cannot recommend these enough and you see the packaging is different that is how you differentiate between these between the square line of products now the black opal stick foundations i actually have two shades in this i can wear hazelnut or i can wear carob so it really does just depend on my mood but i actually really do enjoy this foundation i can get away with either of these shades which is what i love about the black opal line they have this technology that allows the colors to like adjust themselves to your skin tone and i actually really really love this because you can see these two shades are pretty different but on my skin you can't actually tell the difference so i really do like these um these are not the most long wearing foundations but i do like to pick them up and i want to look flawless because for those first four or five hours you will look absolutely absolutely flawless and then you'll start to get a bit greasy the foundation definitely transfers so it's not the best long wearing foundation but if i had a photo shoot or something this is definitely what i would go for this is the black opal even true foundation i have literally shot two videos with this that i just didn't edit because i didn't like the way they turned out but i really like this foundation the same as with the stick foundations it's 
it's not the most long wearing foundation out there but it does make you look absolutely flawless at the beginning of the day and i feel like this is an exact dupe of the black up something there's a full coverage foundation that they have this is an exact dupe of that so i really really love this cannot recommend this enough absolutely fantastic if you don't mind touching up your face throughout the day but on most days i prefer not to which is why i haven't really talked about this much but i will reshoot a video and like have this up so you can actually see how well it goes on and how long it lasts on the skin so yeah i really love this foundation oh and this is the old packaging of the even true this is the new packaging of the even true now onto the elf foundation this was one of my very first times buying things on Line. so i didn't know to double check my cards to make sure they actually put in the right shade like that i selected the right shade that i wanted and as you can see this foundation is just way away away too light for me so i've never actually gotten a chance to use it even in mixing with other foundations let's talk about physicians formula i got this foundation in an influencer box and i absolutely love this this is literally one of my favorite foundations which is really weird considering it's not full coverage. This is a medium coverage foundation. By the way, it just makes your skin look so, so healthy. It literally lives up to the name. My skin has never looked better than the days that I've worn this foundation. So I absolutely love it. I just hate touching up my face. And I do have to keep like powdering, make sure I'm not sweating, make sure my spectacles are not moving it around too much. So I do have to be a bit careful with this foundation, but I love it. It does come with a doe foot. So for those of you who don't like the pumping thing or you don't like putting it on the back of your hand to work off of, you just get this get it all over your face and it looks absolutely flawless so so beautiful also for all of these foundations i don't have individual videos but the videos that i do have already shot i will link them down below in the description box but let me know if you want to see dedicated reviews on any of them because i would love to show you those because this is such a good foundation and it's about $12. All of these are my more affordable foundations so they're all under $1500 like $15 so yeah should be around that price range and then we go to like the higher end ones you know let's talk about the max factor face affinity foundation i absolutely love this foundation but it doesn't have the most coverage and sometimes that i've worn it i felt like it's a bit too light for me and this is the darkest shade so i haven't reached for it much but i think i will start reaching for it again because i remember this being my very first foundation i absolutely loved it i felt like it blurred out my pores it made my skin look so so flawless it's just that i felt like with the sun burning me a bit and then i get too dark for the foundation or sometimes it just it just doesn't look quite right on me but i want to try it with my new color now and see if it works but i really do like this foundation i 100 percent recommend it if you have dry skin for oily skin i don't think it's as oil controlling as it wants you to think it has a primer and a concealer in it i don't wear primer so whatever but um as for concealing it doesn't have enough coverage to actually conceal the skin so i would definitely recommend wearing a concealer with this but i really really like this now on to maybelline first is my favorite maybelline foundation because this is so full coverage your skin literally looks so flawless with this on absolutely love this this is in the shade 66 hazelnut love 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 the superstay foundation then i have a bunch of other fit me foundations I actually had a lot more than these but my family kind of raided them so <laughs> this is what i'm left with and i do love the fit me foundation it does make your skin look super flawless but it doesn't have as much coverage as a superstay so you do have to use more product of this to get like that flawless look that i love but i love that it comes in a wider shade range than the super stay foundation so really depends on what you're looking for but this is a really great everyday foundation love it um the maybelline dream matte mousse this looks absolutely flawless in photography i love 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 this for pictures but i haven't used it in quite a while i've gone through a couple of them i think if i'm not wrong i used to have like three or four. Oh no it's my family that's gone through a couple of them so my mom's favorite foundations were this one she loved loved this because it gave her full coverage it was so easy to blend it's like really super easy to use like very very user friendly even though it is a mousse and like a different consistency than we're used to and she absolutely loved the black opal stick foundations because she hated putting foundation on her hands so if she could just draw it on her face and then like blend it out she'd be so good so yeah i've gone through quite a few of these via my family but um this is the maybelline basically the dewy version of this because this is supposed to be for oily skin this is the one for dry skin i find that both of them work really well on dry skin for oily skin i don't know if it's actually oil controlling enough in either formula but i really love the dewy smooth i feel like this is the second foundation i ever bought it got finished a very very long time ago this is very much empty but i still remember how flawless it made my skin look but it also had 
like zero lasting power after four hours it was literally falling apart on my face which is why i haven't bought a second bottle of it but actually really did like this next is the l'oreal pro glow foundation this is a third foundation i ever bought and it's very much still full just because it literally looks orange <laughs> the first what like hour that you put it on after you blot your face it kind of like does tone down and become a more reasonable color but this shade is supposed to be the one that matches me because the one that's lighter than this is a bit too light for me so i think i will just get the pro matte in the lighter shade and then like mix them if i can't find my perfect medium you know but i actually really like this foundation it has amazing staying power it does start to look very very greasy after a few hours but if you just pat it down it doesn't transfer too much and it lasts on your face really well like it doesn't break down break apart move around from your nose or whatever it just looks absolutely flawless for literally i think i wore it for about 12 hours in my video i'll link it down below the note foundation this is another one that is very very orange so it's kind of hard to see past that to see how well the foundation itself wears so i would love to test this out a bit more but i do have to mix it in with other things to like sort of cut out the orange from it so i actually use this in foundations like this one which are just a little bit too neutral for me and i do want to add a bit of warmth and a bit of like life a bit of that melanin into it so i do add this into that so i do find ways to make use of it in that way but on its own it's just a bit too orange for me just like this one is a bit bit too orange for me but more manageable less manageable so on to my long time favorite foundations this is the revlon color stay i actually have it in a couple of different shades so this is the darkest one i have um this is in the shade carob i have it in the 410 cappuccino and the normal to dry skin and the oily combination skin because this has a red undertone this has a yellow undertone which is so dumb because this is the first one i bought and it looks so pink on me but the yellow undertone matches me absolutely perfectly love this foundation though it has kind of started to transfer on me a bit so i wore it the other day and i was kind of afraid to hug people because like i was <laughs> staining clothes so yeah i don't really know what is up with that but i still do love these foundations as you can see this one is pretty much done I literally have to scrape into the bottle to get anything out but i love this foundation and then i got this one to lighten it in case i was doing someone's skin tone who was lighter than this i use both the white foundation to lighten and my north north skin i think that's how you say it um i use this to add a bit of yellow back into the foundation because this kind of neutralizes it but yes that is why i have four of these foundations okay so for my mid-range foundations these were about i think they go for about 30 dollars each that's three thousand shillings but um it's 30 dollars for all five of them and i only got these because they were heavily discounted so i think i paid about 1200 for each of these they have a really wide shade range which is why i went for them but um yeah turns out i'm not really the biggest fan of working with clients directly so every makeup artist out there like more power to you i don't know how you deal with people people are just headaches i literally cannot but i really do love the range that this has given me however when i do use it on my skin it does tend to look a very very greasy so i'm not the biggest fan of this formula this is the cinema secrets if i haven't mentioned it this is their olive palette which goes super super green and this is more of their I don't know I, I guess they look pink to me but they're supposed to be yellow based so yeah it's a bit tricky so now that we're done with the less expensive foundations let's talk about my more high-end ones though I would like to point out that I do have more of the more affordable foundations in my collection than I do these high-end ones so you don't actually have to have very expensive foundations to get something that works really well something that lasts on your skin like it's not a necessity but these are the ones that i use when i want to spoil myself and i want to feel a bit more bougie and i especially love this foundation because it does have skincare in it as does this one so that's the difference between like the high-end ones and the cheaper more affordable ones is that the high-end ones do sometimes tend to focus more on like skincare and like skin improving ingredients so i will say that the physician's formula healthy foundation actually also has skincare in it so for 12 dollars, you're getting skincare you're getting amazing finish amazing coverage i absolutely love 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 this one but none of my other ones have actual skincare in them so that's why i kind of tend to lean more towards these especially this one because i don't think most of these others have any skincare in them but basically yes i do have um 
actually yeah let's start with Lancome I do have two of their stick foundations in the exact same shade because I am obsessed 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 with this foundation it looks so flawless on my problem is that it's such a small amount and it's quite expensive so I do save it for very extra special occasions I don't just like whip it out on the daily so that's why I have two of them and they're still going strong because I very very rarely like it has to be a really important day for me to reach for them but they last really well on the skin perform amazingly on my dry skin they do not look greasy they do not break down it just it lasts really really well and i can say the same for the tainted doll in the liquid foundation because i have worn this for hours on hours and my skin just looked flawless it does transfer that's my only issue with it but i absolutely love the way it makes my skin look one little pump goes such a long way so the foundation will literally last forever i'm obsessed with it i love the packaging so beautiful and it has skin care so win-win all around um i do have another powder foundation this is a color e science foundation um this is the darkest shade and it's not quite dark enough for me to be 100% comfortable with it though I think I can still make it work and I really love using this on top of foundation to like set my face because it does have skincare in it I used to keep this in my purse because it has a great mirror but yeah I really do like this um <clears throat> $50 50 each I believe this should be about 65 or 55 if I'm not wrong so when I say they are significantly more expensive than the other batch like I mean significantly um, then I have my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and the weird thing is I also have a sample of this because they had like a promotion where they're giving out free samples if you go get your shade matched and I wasn't quite sure that this was my perfect shade because sometimes it would work and sometimes it looks super grey on me so I went and I found out that my perfect shade is actually one shade darker so that's what I have here in the sample and I have a full bottle of the wrong shade so yeah this is my life but i love 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 this foundation this has zero transfer the revlon color stay is a bit of a dupe but this has more coverage and less transfer these days for me so yeah and i can still make the shade work but this is my actual perfect match so that's why i have two speaking of samples i did get these samples off of an order on sephora and i haven't tried them out because a they sent me the wrong dior foundation shade like literally i was so excited to be getting a dior foundation and in the cute little bottle and then they sent me the wrong shade so i'm kind of heartbroken i can't really use that on myself um they did send me a lancome taint a doll um, sample but then right after i got the full size version so i've never actually used this and i feel like it's in a shade that's a bit too light for me and then I have a Giorgio Armani foundation and this one is actually in a great shade for me so I'm oh okay opening it up now it looks a little too olive to actually work on my skin tone olive or neutral I can't actually tell and I don't know if this is in the shade 6 or 9 so yeah fun times figuring that out but I've also never used that it just I mean I have other foundations I need to get through so I haven't really played with my samples but I would be interested in doing like a full face of samples video if you're interested in that so thumbs up this video if you want to see that um Sephora Taint Infusion Foundation love this foundation it looks so flawless on the skin problem is this is a darker shade and it's a little bit too light for me so I very rarely reach for it but it was one of the first foundations I bought and I actually really do like it so I use it on clients a lot when I want to lighten a foundation but not too drastically so i don't reach for this but yeah i really really like this and this works this shade is actually a perfect match to most of my somali clients so there's that little tip in case you're looking for a shade that actually works for their skin tone this works absolutely beautifully so this is a cc cream and it actually has a lot more coverage than the Biu Biu bb cream so i feel like that's kind of what emphasized my disappointment i think i compared these side by side and this just has significantly more coverage than that one it is more expensive i think this is about 36 dollars but the finish is absolutely beautiful it doesn't have quite as much yellow as i would like in it so it is a bit too neutral for me but i love the packaging i feel like this is absolutely perfect for travel i really really like this because it does have like skin blurring technology it makes your skin look absolutely flawless and it's just a cc cream so it doesn't it's not supposed to have as much coverage as like a normal foundation and yet it works beautifully so i love 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 this mac prep and prime bb cream this has been too dark for me so i've been saving it for like clients and whatever but i've never actually used this so i have no real comments on it but it is a foundation in my collection so i thought i'd show you um this is the darkest shade that this brand makes this is a swedish brand so you 
kind of understand that there are very few black people in that part of the world but um yeah they send this to me to try and it's way 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 too light for me the consistency is a bit too greasy a bit too oily for me to even try to use it as like concealer or something so if i have a foundation that i need to lighten i use this but that's mostly for clients because i have foundations that match me so makeup forever ultra hd foundation i hated this the first time i tried it but after i've tried it a few more times i actually really do like this foundation it has very light coverage and i'm not the biggest fan of that so i don't reach for it often and then i feel like the shade that's supposed to the only shade they had that would match me perfectly is just a little bit too dark but i do like this foundation it does make your skin look absolutely flawless but it does not have lasting power and i feel like for the price because it should be about 40 something dollars this is quite expensive for something that doesn't last all day so yeah that doesn't really interest me um also i forgot the makeup forever hd foundation someone gave this to me and the shade is a bit too light for me so i've never really been able to use it but hopefully i can find someone that i can use it on and then i'll give you my thoughts on it but this is a very popular foundation people love it apparently it lasts all day works amazingly so yeah we'll see oh the mac pro longwear foundation i think i did a wear test on this and it didn't go very well i think it broke up on my skin pretty badly and i was comparing it to a fake mac foundation which lasted roughly the same way as the real one so i wasn't very impressed i haven't reached for it since but maybe i'll give it another shot when i went to get shade matched by the mac people they said i was a different shade from this one so this may not be my perfect shade maybe that's contributing to my not really feeling it but i'll try a different mac foundation and then we'll see how i feel about the brand but yeah this is my becca ultimate coverage foundation in the shade sienna this is the closest shade match to me in the entire range and it's way way too neutral for me so it's very disappointing i think if i mixed these i'll get a better result or if i mix these i'll get a better result but now you see because i have foundations that actually match me i'm less inclined to bother mixing something you know so but i love the formula very full coverage very little goes a very very long way love 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 this but they do have new packaging that kind of shows you how far down you've used the bottle and i think i prefer that to this because it's kind of a mystery i know i've only used it a couple of times and i feel like if i ever did fall in love with it and like use it regularly i would never know when it's run out so that's a bit of a problem but the becca foundation pretty damn good just wish they could expand their shade range the huda foundation i actually really love this the problem is i live somewhere very hot yeah and the second you sweat to this it starts moving around so it doesn't do well in heat if you live somewhere where it's snowing this will be your best friend it's amazing as long as you don't sweat as long as nothing moves it around it's amazing full coverage very little goes a very long way i absolutely adore this i actually went with a red undertone shade because the yellow undertone shades all pull olive they all pull green so i went to the red undertone one that actually pulls golden which is weird it's just very messed up this is in the shade coco 510r if you have the time to worry about your face to bother about the way things are moving around and like fix it and touch it up whatever you will constantly have to do this throughout the day but it makes you look so good it literally is a four filter one like the the fake filter the walking around with an instagram face in real life filter one this is definitely worth it if you are looking for that look this is so so good last but not least smashbox again this is another gift i've never actually tried this foundation but i feel like it would be a pretty good shade match to me so i don't know why i haven't tried it probably because i'm trying to get through all these other foundations but eventually i'll come around to it and we'll see how it goes these are my most regularly reached for and like used foundation i feel like i could include this in the list but i was like i love it so much that i'm scared of it getting finished so i have been avoiding using the physician's formula one but these others are like in my rotation especially this this and this are probably the ones that i've used the most since maybe november last year i literally switched to this the second i got it because i am obsessed but um yeah these are my current favorite foundations in my collection i absolutely love how full coverage this is it literally makes you look plastic which not like fake plastic but like perfect plastic you know like i feel like barbie when i wear this so love 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 the super stay the powder foundation is just so easy to use i use it on top of liquid foundations i use it on its own love 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 that and um the st lauder i do sometimes reach for my sample but i'm kind of straying away from the bottle one just because the shade match isn't quite right but the stick foundation absolutely amazing so yeah these are my top favorite foundations in my collection as it stands 
And yeah, I hope you found this information helpful. I hope this video was useful to you. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below. Um, let me know what you thought of this video in the comments. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.